Today I'm talking about store-sponsored sales. In particular, I'm going to talk about the truth of university piano sales. Stick around. Hi, this is Ted Barsulu with Alamo Piano Galleries. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't, or maybe if you're just interested, have a look at our website at alamopianogalleries.com. And a lot of the pianos that I, I'm going to be discussing in this video, as well as in all the other videos, are there available. They should be listed in our inventory and online. You can get details. And also on this channel, as you're well aware, there's plenty of pianos and digital keyboards and maybe even a few synths that you can look at. And we also have the Audio Lab channel, and we also have our guitar channel, and then I think we're getting an accordion channel, and we have band and orchestra. So we have a number of channels here on YouTube, and do check them out. As promised, I'm going to talk about the university sale. We just completed one last week. And uh, for a while, there was a lot of negative publicity associated with piano stores having quote unquote university sales. And uh, a lot of unscrupulous de uh, dealers would use that and drive into town with a bunch of uh, uh, semi trucks full of pianos and set up tents and say it's a university sale. But the real truth in a, uh, about university sales is that a lot of those. Uh, you know, flim flam artists are kind of out of the business now. It's been kind of a rough time, certainly since the pandemic. And the real truth of university sales is I'll give you the bottom line. It's a fantabulous time to buy a piano. And if you are in the market for a higher stage tier one piano, um, for example, a Shiguru Kawai, it's an excellent time because let me explain how these university sales work with a piano store. In our instance, it is a Kauai piano arrangement that with UTSA here in San Antonio. And they, Kauai provides a certain number of pianos that are essentially almost always brand new. And along with that, the university may have what's called some type of takedown agreement where they agree to buy X number of pianos a year for the next five to six years. And in the meanwhile, they will get a whole bunch more than what they agree to buy to house up and fill their music studios. And we have been doing that with Kauai. I believe now it's been about four, maybe coming up on five years. And about once a year or so, we'll have one of these sales. And what truly happens is that, yes, pianos are relocated. They are physically taking, taken out of the university rooms, whether they're practice rooms or professors' uh, offices. And if they've been there for a year or two, they are brought into the store and discounted severely. They have really, really deep discounts on it because essentially the pianos are still sold as brand new with a 10 year warranty, even though they've just been moderately broken in. And in the case of a university, they've, they've been well maintained and tuned on a regular basis. So they're really well cared for instruments that are kind of being put out in the market before they get beat up, destroyed, uh, get too many blemishes on them. Again, their students have an access to these. So some of the pianos, the top may have book scratches, backpack scratches. Uh, there isn't anything, any severe problems that's gonna cause any kind of sound or action problems or learning problems. The main focus is the discount. And I'm gonna tell you how much work goes into this. They gave us all the salesmen and it goes front and back, and it's so small you'll need two magnifying glasses on top of each other to read it. This is a list of about 150 pianos. It's got the serial numbers where they were located, and the retail price, and uh, the normal discounted price, and then there's the price that we're not allowed to quote over the phone, which is the university price because it's below the minimum advertised price, which all the dealers have to live by this code. And it's kind of a nationwide thing. Whenever you see MAP, M-A-P, that means minimum advertised price. Anyone selling that product can't really advertise it for less than that. And if people call in, you can say, well, I may have a floor model I could discount more so, but I can't give you prices over the phone unless you come in. Well, what happens with these rotation of pianos is to give you an idea, we ended up at these sales normally selling between 40 to 60 units. That's the number of pianos. Has nothing to do with the cost 
are the purchase price of the piano. I will tell you this, it's almost evenly split, uh, saying the university provided pianos are about half of the sales. The other half of the sales, and this is just real in general, come from existing store inventory. Some things that may have been around here for way too long are drastically reduced in price so we can move them. And then there's other things. Uh, everything we do, we try to move to sell as much as possible on a minute by minute, hour to hour, day to day basis during the four or five days that the sale runs. And we've had great results with it. And a lot of people have gotten some phenomenal deals on pianos. However, we do have a large portion of the shoppers come in and they're looking for a $500 grand piano or a $200 upright so they can get their kid going. And yeah, we have a $500 piano and we have a $250 upright. And I don't recommend it for anyone to get those to learn on. These are pianos that are great for props. If you want to blow them up, light them on fire, do that kind of stuff. We have a lot of local artists that are always doing that kind of thing. Recently, I found a guy that actually takes pianos, old clunk wooden ones that people just want removed. In some instances, this guy is picking up 200, 100 to 200 year old pianos. And these are pianos that were made at small factories no longer around, but he has found a number of 150 year old Masons and a lot of names that haven't been around. However, the lumber on these pianos have very, very well aged spruce soundboards. A lot of them are made out of solid Brazilian rosewood that this guy cuts up. He takes the ebony keys and makes fretboards out of them. So there's really fascinating things and there's always some kind of use and value in a piano rather than taking it to the scrap yard. Now the results are, we've had some people, we sold a couple of grand pianos for right above the $2,000 mark and I'm surprised that they went at that price. And I've been in this business 25, 26 years and we cut some prices on this and moved a lot of pianos. I don't think we sold a single spinet I think we did sell a lot of used consoles that were not part of the university's pianos, but they were part of the university piano sale. And that's where it, it used to get really, really kind of a fuzzy gray area where were they, all these old junky pianos out at the university? No, they weren't. Those, are, the, those pianos are placed here by the store as additional inventory because there's a lot of people wanting to spend two or three hundred dollars on an old spinet or an upright and if we have them they can get them for that price it doesn't mean we're always going to have those we have those because we take them on trade or sometimes we go and buy a couple pianos that are great and they make you take the other ones there as kind of a consolation secondary prize um, university sales is a fantabulous time fantastic time to get a great deal on a piano. If there's a sale coming up in your area, say in a week or so, try to find out what university is being provided. How big is that music department? How many pianos are they moving or drums or whatever it is they're getting rid of, brass instruments. A lot of times they'll have these music closet clean out things from the university. That's not what this is. This is more of a manufacturer and an educational top institutions coming together out of necessity and need for decent pricing over a period of time, which means that the profitability is built into the equation because part of that is the throw off and the spin off of moving pianos to the general public. Now, the other thing that makes a university sale highly, highly successful is going through the listing of the alumni and having the university to agree to mail out greetings letters on behalf of the manufacturer providing the music gear. The alumni receives a letter that says, you're an alumni, congratulations to be on our mailing list. We wanted to advise you the university is having a sale where they're getting rid of a lot of their pianos. If you are interested in participating in this sale or if you or know someone, blah, blah, blah. The letter is so perfectly written and worded because it comes from two major institutions, Kauai, piano manufacturing, and then also the university uh, educational system here in the state of Texas. So it's 
it's well-written, well-crafted program. Not all university sales used to be like that. If you can find one of those, that's the best time to get yourself a tier one piano, either a higher end GX, a six or seven foot. We've had some people come in and shop nine footers. And yeah, we actually had a Kawhi nine foot uh, grand piano that predates the GX and the SK. It's a, it's a 30 or 35 year old nine foot piano, but it still plays and sounds great. It's at a fraction of a cost. It survived here in this store without being sold almost a year. So there's a great deal sitting out there right now. We still have leftovers. It's never too late to call. Go through our website and uh, see if there's something that, that interests you. Another thing I found fascinating is a lot of people will go in and participate in a sale just to see what's happening, just to know that they're not missing anything. And a lot of times they come in with their phone and say, I shopped your website, where is this piano at? And that's when it's hard to tell them that we had 150 pianos brought in, included for sale. And I'd say at least about 40 to 50 of those, I'd say probably around 40 were brought in specifically here. And then we had some others that were just store inventory that we were trying to move that are still here. And then there are some that are online. Our business has grown so much that we cannot move everything that's on our store website into one location. And in the last couple months, this is how retailing has changed. A lot of people walk in and say, I want to buy this, but I want to play it first. And they don't read the small print, which says available online only, because there's parts of this store that are not here physically. They're located in another part of the city or in another city. And those deals are just provided for their drop ship. And yeah, we do a lot of that business. That's how we can stay open. That, built, that business built up for us during COVID. So like internet sales is a major part of a lot of retailing and university sales disappeared a while back because people thought they were just a way to get people excited about a sale. It is a way to get people excited about the sale. If you excite the right people you can, and you have the right inventory and the right program, there are just phenomenal deals and the program continues to be successful every time we turn over the pianos, not just for the university, but also for the public. So that is my opinion, my bottom line on the truth about university sales. You can tell I'm excited. We sold a number of units. Uh, I believe we sold right under 50 units. I don't have the dollar amount, but of these 150 some odd pianos we brought in, it was over $1.2 million in sale prices, not MSRP. So there are some extreme discounts given at these times. And if you're interested in one, go attend one, take a look, just participate, maybe without intention of buying. If you have an intention of buying, come visit one of ours. Even if you don't want to buy, come visit one of ours. We have great stuff to play. And I can tell you this, this is the one piano sale. Well, the last couple we've had where almost every single piano in this, in this store, with the exception of some of the clunks in the back, were almost perfectly tuned. And people play them for a lot longer, and they're more um, discerning when they're making their decision about which, which model of the same piano they want. With that, that's about all I'm gonna say on university sales. This is Ted Barsulu with Alamo Piano Galleries. Look for us in any of our locations in San Antonio, Austin, maybe even St. Louis, Kansas City. We have stores in Ohio and Michigan and see if we have a university sale going on near you. If not, call us and let, let us know. We'll see if we can get one sponsored, but we got to make sure there's a real university and a program behind it. Thank you so much for your time and we'll look for you in the future.